Welcome everyone. My name is Brian Inuma. Our company is Strategic Systems Group. We are a Los Angeles-based IT consulting firm and experts in enterprise resource planning. I have today my associate, Ahmad Afzal, and today we're going to cover some, some the concept of bins within Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. To kind of think about the bins for a moment, it's kind of a way to, to segregate uh, items in the warehouse. Important to understand the, the bins uh, because they are essentially storage locations within the warehouse. Of, of Ahmad uh, thinks of them as cubicles, and then basically the cubicles are arranged in an organized fashion. We'll have a chance to talk about the bins and how, how they exist within zones. For, from a, a standpoint of, of the benefits of using a bin, it basically one of the benefits is to optimize space within the warehouse. Also, it allows for faster picking and packing, accurate inventory, and then also effective replenishment of stock, uh, as long as you have the, the, the visible, the data visible within the system. All right, Ahmad, if I miss anything. No, you pretty much cover everything. So let me go ahead and share my screen. Okay, so in the beginning, what we need to do when once we need to set up a bin within like uh, how we need to go into a location and start uh, from the search. Tell me uh, what, what I can uh, tell me what you want icon, or you can call it search engine. You can click, uh, you can type locations. Within location, as you can see, there's already preset location within BC. Uh, uh, as you know, we are using demo, so you can see there's multiple locations out there. If we need to set up a new location, you can go ahead and set up a new location as per business required. Will, once you click on location, we will cover on a different video how to set up location. But if you have, if you want to create a new, uh, new location, what you need to do is you need to click new and you will see a new setup bar for location as a time card, uh, um, as a location card. So what is shared with this is you can enter all those information that is required for that specific location. Since we're going to cover that part in a uh, different video, so let's go back into bins and we'll pick pre-selected or pre-default uh, location that it's already in BC. So let's pick a Dallas location. So once we click, click on Dallas location, you can see that there's a lot of information. Not of information. Let's go back. Let's click on blue, which is demo. So you can see all these location information that's already been entered into the system. Uh, what we need to do now, we can go back, pick something else where you can see bins, or you can see that there's all logistics, red warehouse. And there's, there's a multiple warehouses we can select that. So let's say if you pick a yellow warehouse. On a yellow warehouse, you can see there is some buttons right here that you can select if there's and that we need or location for put away worksheet, or we do we have any required put aways or uh, required shipments we can use that for our business needs. To create bins without any zones for this location on your search on your navigation bar, you can see there's bins here. You click on the bin, and now you can see there's no list, there's no bin set up within two locations. So what you have to do, you have to create a code. Let's create a code, whatever the code that we need to create for your uh, bin location. So let's say we create 01-0001, and we can add more codes to it as we need to require or as we require for other things. If you need to put a description, we can say uh, bin one for now, right? Uh, so this is the description we're going to put, and now we have our one bin set up in BC. It's that simple. Now we can go back into the bin. You can see that this bin is already set up, and we can set up multiple bins around our bin. At how many bins, whatever bins we have, or we have any more, any other bins or more bins within the system, we can create that and ask for a business required. There is multiple bins for this location, and once we receive an item, we will based on to 
All right. Now, this location have multiple bins. Now, from here on, if you need to get into zones, if if we if this specific location have multiple zones out there, what we need to do, we need to get into our zones, and we can create more zones here. If there's zone one, for example, there's no zone right now, but we are creating one. So let's just say Z1, which is zone one, and we do it zone here. Zone two, which is Z2. Again, these codes can be different, whatever the prefix which business required, you can change that. I'm just setting up as a default. So you have to worry about if there's an in type code. Uh, on our video, we can you can pick last time when we were talking about that, you know, we have multiple categories, uh, bin type categories uh, within BC. You can create more or you can pick from the pre-selected ones. So let's say we are picking up from the zone. Let's refresh it. Okay, sorry. Move cold. And we do hard truck. Hard hand truck one. Hopefully you can select that. Something question I'll say right now, but we can pick zones as you can see. We can do warehouse class codes. We have any special equipments that we set up within the BC, or we can do some rankings so we can set up zones within BC. Let's go back and, for example, we need to set within world right here. Yes. Okay. So once we create once we created zones, we can go to related, we can go to zones, and we can do bins. Now these bins, as you can see, in the, uh, these bins, it's not like a regular bin. It's these bins are within the zone bin. So, for example, if you're doing zone Z1, which is zone one, and bins zero zero one, and then goes here. If you go Z2, zero zero. So bin, we can do the bin, zone one, bin one, and we can do zone two, bin two. This is how this is how we set up multiple zones and multiple bins within BC, with or without a zone, thing, or, uh, with or without zones. And back to you, Brian. Okay, great. So this is a uh, very helpful, Ahmad. Thank you. And just the the upshot is the, the ability to kind of create bins and then to organize the bins within zones. And also to clarify, a, a particular zone could have a, a multiple a number of bins. Is that correct? Yes. So uh, each, if uh, if any, I mean, we can have multiple uh, multiple zones within locations and multiple bins within zones. Cool. Right. Very good. I think from a, I guess an execution standpoint, generally locations are roughly equivalent to warehouses. Locations are uh, equivalent to warehouses. Uh, or uh, you can call it locations anyways. So uh, it's you can have multiple uh, input areas or output areas if you're receiving dot, if there's any receiving warehouse or any pick pack and ship kind of warehousing. So yes, it, it, it kind of relates to that. Sometimes each location have multiple docking systems where um, a, a product comes in from one area, which is one zone and leave on different zone because they are shipping it. Uh, yes. so. Um, locations are based on warehousings and zones are basically defining the areas that the items get put, put in or put out. And then okay, you can perfect. set up bins within the zones. 
OK, then we we'll wrap up here and then next time we can talk about how items go into bins. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, I'll catch you next time.